So welcome guys. Uh, this is a simple database management system called the pharmacy management system that I built to teach you how such a system works. It designed to very similar to real world pharmacy scenario. Let me first give you a uh, brief description of the system. Uh, when we talk about the pharmacy management system, we can break down the system into main two parts. The first main part is uh, inside actor behaviors and second main part is uh, the outside actor behaviors. The inside of actors include the key actors uh, like the admin or manager of the pharmacy and the cashiers. The outside uh, actors include uh, such as uh, medicine agents and customers. Let me use a real world example to uh, explain the system. The scenario is uh, imagine uh, a customer walks into pharmacy and asks to specific med medicine is available or not. And also uh, I will explain how the system behaviors and how the actors interact with the real world scenario. So uh, when we talk about the admin or manager side, the admin or manager is responsible for receiving medicine for suppliers and storing the details in the database. When we talk about the cashier's role, the cashiers can uh, check the system to see if medicine is in stock or not. If it is available, the cashier can proceed with the sale. In the information accessing part uh, is the reporting section. The admin can generate reports such as uh, transaction reports, daily earning reports, expire item reports, order in reports. And also uh, access information of the uh, cashier's role. The cashier can view their profile details, access in the billing process, the sale medicine uh, and also uh, they can also access the daily transaction report to keep track of their sales. So uh, let's we move on to the uh, system and uh, we will check uh, how system is, uh, is working. This is the pharmacy management system. Let's uh, now look at the login interface. First, uh, we will focus on the admin or manager side. The system will prompt the user to enter username and password. Let's start uh, entering a wrong password to see how the system handles it. After entering the username and password and click the login button. Firstly, uh, we will input the correct username and we will input the wrong password and click the uh, right user to, to login. Then the system will check if the username and password are correct. If the details are incorrect, the system will block the login and show the error message. If the correct username and password are entered, the system will process for a moment and the uh, valid user will be uh, grant access to the system. Once login, the admin will direct it to the admin dashboard. Uh, where they can access the medicine updation, selection and report generation section. In the medicine updation, uh, if the admin click on the uh, medicine update section, they can search for a medicine detail. For example, if they search for a vitamin, the system will display all vitamins available in the database. The admin can select the correct vitamin and the details will automatically fill into the text fields. These are the other features, uh, update, delete and clear data. We will uh, clear the data and uh, try up the next function. In the uh, insert new medicine feature, the admin can insert a new medicine by entering the medicine name and uh, medicine quantity uh, and the manufacture date want to be insert and uh, most want important thing is uh, want to enter the expire date and enter the uh, unit price of the that medicine when uh, clicking the insert button once the details are entered the system will add the medicine into the database and show the successful message the admin can uh, see the new medicine in the database and uh, in the table view so you can see uh, the new medicine updated to the table just think uh, if the admin wants to update the medicine, uh, they can select it fr from the list. Uh, the details will filled into the uh, text field 
and the admin can change any details such as quantity uh, after clicking the update button the system will display successful message and update the both database and ui table now you can see uh, the medicine quantity is updated user can easily navigate to back to previous pages within the system admin can uh, access the supply updation page and uh, he can view the supply updation table admin can uh, search and uh, get some related data for the supply updation table also in the supply updation section admin can add delete update the supply details the worker details page displays the information about the workers in the table in the supply medicine section the admin can see which supplier provide the specific medicines in the report section admin can see transaction report daily earning report expire item reports order in item reports in the transaction report admin can view the transaction report related to the workers means uh, cashiers and also in this table admin can see all the transaction details uh, invoice id medicine id medicine name price quantity total amount and transaction date for each cashiers in the daily earning report uh, shows the uh, daily earning for each cashiers in the expire item report uh, the admin can view the expire medicine along with the quantities by clicking the uh, generate expire report button the system will generate the expire medicine reports in here we can uh, enter some date uh, what are, uh, then check what are the expire items uh, for that date uh, then uh, the, the table shows the what are the expire item medicines in the on that date then uh, it is auto fill for the uh, text fields and uh, if we are clicking the exp reply item reports then uh, it will show us in the expire item reports and uh, it is uh, deleting for the database that expire item uh, medicines in the order item report uh, admin can view the ordering reports uh, which shows uh, which medicine need to order including expire or out of stocks medicine if click the uh, back button uh, admin can uh, redirect to the his uh, main dashboard so i log out from the admin side uh, let's see now uh, how cashier side functions are working in this system i made an assumption that uh, more than one cashier is working in the pharmacy so i created two separate access account for the cashiers each with the unique usernames and passwords on the cashier side, the cashier will log into the system uh, using their username and password. If the cashier uh, used uh, correct username and correct password are entered, the system will process for a moment and then the valid user will uh, grant access for the system. So, considering the cashier one, uh, then uh, enter the uh, username as a cashier one and uh, enter the password as a correct password then click the cashier login then cashier will be directed to their cashier interface the the interface include the cashier profiles cashier uh, billing process and daily transaction reports in the cashier profile interface the cashier details are displayed in here uh, the cashier name is mr mmm kd dasanayaka and his uh, information age gender uh, and other information when we come to the billing process the main task of the cashier is the billing process. Before the selling any medicine, the cashier will check uh, if the medicine is available in the stores or the database. Uh, the first table is display the uh, medicine in stocks and the, in the second table uh, shows the transaction of the day. For example, uh, the cashier can search for a medicine by name. Once found, the medicine uh, will be highlighted uh, in the table. The cashier uh, can then select the medicine and the details will automatically fill the blank spaces the system will uh, also prompt for the quantity once the uh, quantity is entered the cashier will add the medicine uh, into the transaction table and the price for the selected quantity will be displayed and also generating some successful uh, dialog message box When we come to the payment process, the cashier will then uh, receive payment uh, from the customer and 
enter the amount. By clicking the balance button, the system will calculate and display the balance that need to return to the customer. And cashier can uh, click the clear button and uh, clear the all data uh, from the table. After clearing the data, uh, he can uh, do some another transaction same like uh, in the previous uh, transaction. When we uh, come to the uh, transaction table of the cashier, the cashier can also access the uh, daily transaction table to review the all transaction for a day. If we click in the back button, we can uh, redirect to the main interface. The system allows for the multiple cashiers. Uh, a second cashier can log into the uh, system using the username and password and they will uh, see the same interface. The cashier can also perform the billing process and generate the own transaction for the day. In the profile section, he can uh, show his uh, information details and the, in the second, he can uh, process the billing process and finally he can access the transaction table. So this is a simple pharmacy management system uh, designed to reflect a real world scenario. I hope uh, this uh, give you an idea of the related uh, design thinking pattern. So thank you uh, and uh, in the next video we will over the necessary software installation for the creating this type of system. Thank you.